Tim Kaleda reporting from Dubai. With so many malls opening up in the region, you can expect an expanding presence for U.S. brands. But the global trend right now is more and more shopping moving online. But it raises a question in the Middle East. Will consumers swap shopping on their feet for shopping from their seats? At this Dubai warehouse, a shopping revolution in the Middle East is taking place. How are you good? I'm good. I'm good. And Ronaldo Mushawar is at the helm of that change. It is the soup for the Arab world. It's just using the internet as a way to, to distribute basically the product. As the co-founder and CEO of Souk.com, his online internet site has been dubbed the Amazon of the Arab world. Nice to meet you. you? This is the modern soup, yes. as they say. Right? Offering okay. consumers in the Middle East more than 200,000 products. With more than 15 years' experience in the technology sector, Mushawar established the first online auction site, Souk.com, in 2005. Its auction site has now shut down, but its websites are fielding orders handled by warehouses in the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Kuwait. It has become the largest e-commerce site in the region, dominating a sector that is relatively new to the Middle East. E-commerce companies are eager to harness the power of mobile devices. In many markets throughout the region, penetration is over 100%, meaning that consumers carry more than one handset. The challenge had been getting people to transact on those very devices. The Arab Spring, use of social media, use of mobile devices, use of tablets have kind of eased in the entry point. So now you have adopters who are on the internet, your consumer is online, and the next logical step for them is to do activities online. And key activity of the internet is probably online shopping, and we're seeing that now growing really fast. A very big challenge in the region has been a lot of online fraud, particularly in the banking sector. As a CEO of Souk.com, how do you get people past this idea of the fear of transacting through a mobile device? So initially trust is definitely was an issue that we had to overcome as we were building our offering and to make consumer comfortable we offered them cash on delivery and once they do the transactions they get trust and then they become very comfortable and we see credit card transactions follow immediately after. Despite awareness to shop online, attitudes are slowly changing. Online transactions in the region amounted to $9 billion last year. That is expected to jump to $15 billion by 2015. It's amazing because you have a population, a market potential of 350 million consumers, but it's lagging, for example, well behind Europe or the United States. You see uh, growth rates of 2 to 300 uh, percent that we're seeing in the market. We're seeing it on our own platforms. So clearly consumers are now comfortable and just as the applications become more tailored and more local, as the products are more Focus on the consumer what they need, that growth will come for sure. Mushauer and his group are counting on it. 